Okay, one particular game I've uh, particularly got to like is this Osmos in HD game. So I'm going to just launch it. It sounds lovely. It sounds even better through headphones. As uh, it's just explained. <laughs> it's not a particularly new game. But it is particularly fun. So I've only uh, got so far through each of the stages as multiple levels, etc. And if you haven't already played this game, I can recommend it. So you are this cell in the very middle here. I'm going to just quickly zoom in. And as you can see, it's very, very pretty. And it's very, very responsive. So it shows both the screen tactile feel is good as well as the game's written well. Um, this has been tweaked for uh, Jelly Bean and Okay, so what is the idea of this this white cell? My I, my aim is to get bigger and to dominate and take over all these other cells. Anything smaller than me, I can let's say consume, eat. Perhaps is a, is a is an equal way. And the only way of moving is to by ejecting some of the matter by making small punctures on the obviously opposite side of your cell. So I force myself along to move into this fluid world, and I've bumped into a smaller cell. I'm going to try and get this one here now to the left. Now, it's a sedate game. If you want to play sedate, you can be running around as well if you if you think you're really, really good. But it's one of those games that's steady as you go. Now, my matter ejection is even going to be able to move these larger critters. It's all very much mass and, uh, sorry, mass and physics involved here. So you can think of these as planetary bodies, if you wish, on a obviously molecular, very minuscule uh, uh, scale. It's absolutely beautiful, very, very tranquil. The music's very charming. And just the ability to feel and see this kind of game on a decent sized screen on a touchpad as good as this has just made this game uh, all the better in my mind. Now I'm sure this is a, a very popular app in the iPad store as well. It's certainly available on both platforms. Now I'm going to grow into this red dude, and this red dude's actually absorbing me, so I need to get out of his way. And at the same time, I've now gone moved so fast, I've got my mass, my movement, oh, he's consuming me, my movement uh, so fast and speedy that I'm now uh, bumping into things and not controlling myself at all well. However, I've gotten myself a darn sight bigger than I was at the beginning. Now you get yourself too big too soon and you can run out of areas you can get through. So I've cleared that very small area. I've still got a long way to go. But I'm just, oh, if it wasn't for that big guy swallowing me, I wouldn't be doing too bad. Oh, am I going to still be big enough? I need to slow myself down here. So for a slow paced game, it's actually quite anxious and... Uh, you really do have to go slow and steady. There is a, a time uh, speed option, so you're going really, really slowly because you've got a strategy in mind and you need to be going really slow. You can speed up time. So that was me speeding up time. Now, obviously, I'm getting absorbed here. I'm going to try and get away. Other things are happening in the world as well because I've been thrusting and bumping and causing all kinds of havoc by ejecting my cellular mass, as it were. I'm going to slow the game right down again. It's got a really nice effect on the soundtrack. Let me just do that so you can hear. And back again. You just see a little graphic on the very bottom of the screen there. Now as you can see some of these uh, large cells, they were all this kind of size at the beginning, have now grown to be absolutely huge and it'd be a real challenge for me to, to win this game, but certainly I have one game similar to this where you're let's say king cell, king microbe, or king, king uh, gas planet, how do you want to see this game uh, in your own kind of mind to have whatever, you know, ha lets you have fun. But um, it's been a really good way for me to get to feel and use this screen to test the battery for this device. Um, it's gorgeous colors, uh, the music's beautiful. So even though it's better with headphones, absolutely immediately stereo jack. Even uh, the, the single speaker grill on the back does a very, very good job. And uh, it's surprisingly good quality that comes out the back here. I think I've managed to knock the old, uh, yeah, I've managed to knock the uh, power button turning that over, so let's not uh, worry about that so much. OK, 
Okay, so one thing, and uh, I, you get this in most games, you've got the uh, home button immediately available to you, so it's easy to knock. Now we can, of course, immediately go straight back in, and uh, you can return to game. The game's written well, the app's written well, then you're ready to do that. Oh, I'm just about to be absorbed. Let's see if I can just escape that guy. I need to zoom in as well, because I'm crazy size. Yeah, let's just see what where I'll be going. Oops, and there you go. I've actually done it accidentally. That genuinely was a mistake. I didn't mean to uh, to go back. I was uh, going to go for the uh, speedy speedy time zoom, and that is my end. So um, that's just one of uh, many games. I picked that one because it's a particularly good uh, demo of the uh, screen and the multi-touch feel of it. Oh, I've only got the free version here of Orbital. Um, Orbital's one of my favourite games. Actually, I play this a lot on my uh, my iPhone, so I can only play Supernova in this particular version, where you let go to eject a ball, and depending on how far away it is from the edge of the screen, um, it builds a ball. Each ball needs to be hit five times to pop, and any ball that bounces across this line kills you. Now, you score points, so I'm actually going to... No, I've just shown you how to die. That wasn't the idea at all. Here's our score. So let's just quickly go through that again. That was a terrible, terrible bit of game playing there. Let's actually try and concentrate a little bit on what I'm doing. So there's all kinds of rare strategies you can do, because sometimes you're going to want these great big giant balls to block areas. Sometimes you've got these little dinky ones that don't get in the way too much. That laser... Is really a pointer so don't think of it as a as a laser beam it's just really helping you point so if i point it over here touch the screen over here immediately the point is going to just let me know at what point if i let go or when i let go will the uh the balls be ejected now i've got a nice little area here where i can fire these balls into and as you see every time it touches that large ball that was a three and is now a two let's just do another one and I've just managed to pop the last one and I've actually got a score. So only when one of these balls is actually popped do I get a score. So it's quite a long kind of battle, quite strategic. You actually want to be careful of them blocking and boxing yourself in. So you've got to be careful you don't get so many of these balls blocking that you can't actually shoot any balls to the back here. But certainly you get yourself a nice little area where you can have the balls bouncing around billiard style whacking the heck out of things, they bounce off things, so you get some nice ricochet effects. Music's a little bit disco-disco for me, I usually play with the music off, but uh, for this demo I thought I'd leave it on. I really recommend it, it's quite a relaxing strategy game. Um, this isn't the, my most favourite mode, I actually like gravity mode, and gravity mode is where the larger the circle is, the more draw it has to the balls that you fire, so this ball would actually curve around, etc, around large masses. And that adds an, another little aspect to the uh, to the game. So what you can see though is how wonderful, responsive, crisp, clear, fast, and uh, funky the old uh, Nexus 7 is. It's a rather good game tablet, and I've just blown myself up. But that's probably absolutely fine because uh, honestly, score two. That's uh, that's really the best for today I've had so far. Okay, so I've only got a few games on here. I particularly like. Um, tower defense games I think they're uh, a fantastic genre and I'm going to just do a resume I'm sure I hit resume then, but I'm going to press resume again and for some reason I thought I was <clears throat> I thought I had a game going already I'm just uh ah oh, that's right because I've only got the free version there's only so much you can play so I'm going to actually have to go to what have I done here I'm going to go back to a level that I can play without having to buy the game on camera. So bring on the trolls. Okay, you can see the uh, path from these two monster generators. This is my castle I've got to defend. I didn't mean to bring that up. Again, these buttons down here you've got to get used to. But the way I'm going to do is quickly build a tower here and another one here. And I'm going to gas cloud these dudes because they're going to uh, kill me if I'm not careful. And I'll quickly pop another turret involved in here. Two got through, that wasn't so good. Gas clouds, I need done so much. Collect my gems. 
So I'm doing absolutely terrible at the moment. I need to quickly uh, concentrate on doing, get some more of these guys and towers and guns going. And another one got through. And I need to slow the guys down. So an ice tower is going to do me uh, only good. A bit of repairing on the towers I go. I'm going to zoom in the action a little bit, of course, you can zoom in on the action. Not that I'm going to win here because all those trolls are going to get through. But you've got some nice towers here, you've got yourself catapults, you've got yourself ice towers, you've got yourself stone rock lobbers, etc. And perhaps I uh, demonstrated a rather hard uh, level. You uh, get all kinds of other special things. You get mines which you can lay traps on paths. Gas is a cloud, you saw me use that one just then, it slows people down as well as kills them. You can, um, powder keg is a sort of immediate use, it, you pop it on top of um, the beasts on their way and they'll actually explode. It's got a few, so you have to time it. So there's some really good, um, fun elements to this game. And you can deploy towers in paused. Now sometimes uh, games don't let you do this and you might think this is cheating. Um, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm going to add my uh, defences a little bit more thoughtfully this time, and my attacking things a little bit more thoughtfully this time, so I haven't got enough for a crystal, so I need to kill some of these guys before I can uh, actually do anything much. I am going to use a gas cloud again, because I know I'm not going to survive any other way. I'll just kill them all. There's a blue gem. I'm collecting these gems. You can buy other poisonous things here with them. You can upgrade towers, etc repair towers etc so I've got myself some I'm going to pause again just to zoom in so I'm going to show you now I've got myself some damage on quite a few of these towers oops I'm not even hitting the tower there's a hammer to repair them and they're all quite nice re repaired now how well am I going to do so this ice tower is going to shoot them slow them right down I've then got hopefully some not enough firepower at all to do any damage, to, to do any serious damage, not enough points to uh, to bring up another tower. My only option is to bring up a gas tower. I'm in pause mode though, you can't use any of your once use items, so I'm going to have to unpause and bring up the gas cloud on top of them and hopefully kill enough of the trolls. And that um, um, um me losing lives down to two lives already so I'm doing pretty rubbish in this uh, honestly I can complete this level this was just me being absolutely rubbish whilst I'm demonstrating I'm going to bring up another fast shooting tower and hopefully my rock lover nope not going to get them either so these two already great cyclopses are going to finish me off and defeat but another absolutely beautiful game I'm going to come out of that now and that's called TNT that's a, a trolls and towers kind of game and uh, another one that I kind of recommend um, Galcon Fusion is a, a game it's not particularly high res so if I just um, do a new map on this one so this is a, a game where you are uh, in control of uh, a planet of creatures of creatures of, of ships that we want to colonize um, the world you want to obviously dominate you've also got some AI playing against you, you can really see the ships zooming and flying around the place and absolutely if I don't get to these planets before they do they're going to get manufacturing points and be able to build more ships than I can quicker than I can and uh, I'll be defeated so it really is a race against time as well as the AI I'm struggling talking and trying to hold my own here so the AI does a reasonably good chance I'm playing on captain uh, level if anyone was wondering um, I find on the very basic levels is a little bit too simple so um, you're going to want to rack, rack up the uh, the speed quite simply you can do mass attacks so I've highlighted three of my planetoids here I'm going to just quickly send all the uh, spare forces I can to attack one planet quite near one of their large bases getting myself ready for quite a nice attack I'm going to do something similar with these three here I'm holding my main capital of, of production. The larger the planet, the more production that they have, the quicker that they produce ships. So these two towns, uh, city planets I had created near his main manufacturing plant I've now used to attack. I just survived holding on to my main, let's call it my main capital planet. You can see I like to uh, get into my games 
So I've already got a whole Star Trek thing going on here and I'm slowly defeating and attacking the Klingons and pretty much I've won there. So you don't need to take over all the neutral planets. Um, the time you do this is uh, assistance with your score. You can of course go up different levels. So you get to see the planets a little bit before you start. The get ready banner is a little bit in the way hiding this one. But um, what you get to see is where the planets are. What of different sizes and uh, different populations that you need to conquer and you've got to decide where am I going where am I going to go and hit first so I'm going to quickly go for that 15 he's going to probably do the same no lucky for me he's gone for a really hard planet to take so I think he took a lot of losses to take that one and that's an easy win for me I'm going to make sure I don't lose what I've just conquered I'm going to take that 13 away from him up there a bit more reinforcing to my home because I think he's cotton on to what I'm doing I don't think he's got many troops there. He's just also launched as well. So that's fantastic. And I'm going to just double click and let's just do some on mass attacks. Now to determine how many of my troops actually leave each time, you set this little swiper down here. 50% I find very, very good in that half your troops will leave, half will stay at home to defend. Whilst of course your uh, planet is rebuilding more and more uh, troops. So uh, you've got to uh, Get attacking nice and early on. Let's see if I can take that 22 before he gets there. And just oh, he's gone to another planet. That's uh, you never quite know where they're heading to. You can change the troops' dis direction differently whilst they're flying. So absolutely, you can midway through flight change course of action. So he nearly got himself a nice little planet of troops behind me. And it's quite a gap we've got to go across here to uh, to go anywhere. Let's try and get ourselves as forward as we can. He's actually attacking me this time, and I don't want him to lose that one. It's a real big producer I also don't want to use my main fleet I've just got myself geared up for an attack so let's do that in parallel whilst I'm dragging my troops around he's actually now going for this one so you really got to keep your eyes open on what's going on have enough troops to hold up hold off a decent defense as well as uh, grab any low level uh, enemy or neutral so I can whilst that's going on take that 16, 16 certainly yeah, it's a decent sized planet, good medium sized planet, he'll be producing quite a few things for me. I think I've nearly beaten this guy now even though he's nearly taken this planet here off me back again. And I've got enough troops there to already attack out even though he's being reinforced with the remaining of the attack force. So there you go, so that's also a really good game. Doesn't have um, super duper graphics or resolution on this one. I really hope they bring up a new version, a real HD version. Certainly it's uh, one of my recommended games. I love it on this screen. I now play this uh, on my Galaxy Nexus 7 far more than I do on my iPod or iPhone. Um, that's the uh, that's the uh, the way I'm seeing this. I think this is a great web browser, a great game player, as well as uh, uh, a mo movie watcher, etc. So um, I've watched the Transformers movie, and uh, I will probably uh, wait until I've got some digital download offers when I uh, buy some more Blu-rays or DVDs, etc. But I think this is going to be a fantastic way of watching uh, movies. The 720p and the quality very very good. It streams really well, and. Uh, Certainly, as long as you've got decent Wi-Fi in your house uh, you're, and, and a good pair of headphones, you're going to uh, absolutely enjoy this as a movie watcher in the bedroom, uh, etc. Um, and if you uh, think about getting this uh, a file copied locally, so it's only got 8 gig this particular version, but you can get a decent enough uh, video quality on 8 gigs. You could also look at taking this with you in the car, car journeys for kids, etc. In the back of the car, I think this is going to be a pretty good thing to have a few kids shows and a few kids cartoons, etc. Uh, whilst driving, give them headphones and uh, I don't think there'll be any, any concern. So there's just some quick demonstrations. Um, I'm actually going to quickly fire this up. Why not? Let's fire this up. So I just want to uh, angle it a little bit. No, that's terrible. The light just caught that straight away. That's a shame. I need to... Uh... That's not too bad, actually. That's not a bad angle. Okay, so this is... Uh actually a little bit through near the beginning so this is when they've just got themselves on the moon and they're just uncovering the uh, the craft they've discovered the moon or the dust that's in there now absolutely the sound from the speaker is really adequate not stereo of course so you do want headphones now I'm going to just uh, skip this forward a little bit because you're not getting a great deal of cut on that that particular scene now, because I've whizzed forward and this is streaming, um, so although it gave me an image, it's got to very quickly decide what it's doing, and the buffering aspect uh, is is key here. So it's obviously got to, again, like I said, you've got a good home Wi-Fi bandwidth to handle all this. 
but as you can see a lot more colour going on here as it cuts between various scenes in the house as an attack took place. We just turn the volume up onto max, just so you can hear. It's max volume over my talking voice. Even at loud volume, it doesn't vibrate the case and doesn't sound tinny. Ah, the old male room boy to the top dream. Seen that so many times in American movies. paper I was telling you about. What are we looking at? Shut up! Okay, it's a great movie. It's uh, quite interesting that they've given you such a, a recent movie free with the uh, Nexus 7. So this is an addition to uh, whatever was purchased or you've purchased with your, in the UK. I got £15. I'm sure you get a lot of it uh, uh, equivalent currency, similar amount in the US are probably something like twenty dollars, euros, twenty euros, probably something similar. Um, so it's uh, you know the bonus of a free book and this video. I think that's uh, amazing what they're giving you for the price. Like I say, only paid hundred sixty pound for this, and yet you've got so much for free, so much included with the uh, with the device. Um, you know, you hear people saying that the uh, Nexus Seven is a is a almost at cost price product. And uh, I can almost believe it. It's uh, I don't know how they're making their money. And uh, quick, buy one before they uh, figure out.